Welcome back to Copperhead Customs. Today we are back on our 1938 Chev and we are going to take this pile of smashed up headlights and turn them into this. If you want to see how we did it, better stick around and find out. Okay, so today uh, we're on our 38 Chev, for uh, the newbies to the channel, this is a 1938 Australian built Chev, uh, Australian built, as you can see if you're American you wouldn't have these ribs in the roofs of yours, so the actual cab itself is built here in Australia by Holden's, this was, they were, uh, before Holden's were Holden, you would have heard of Holden, uh, they were a body building company and built lots of different brand Cabs, uh, Internationals, Bedfords, uh, of course Chevys and a couple of others as well I think. Now uh, we have a Dodge, I think it's pretty sure it's a Dodge nose cone that we've boxed in. It's sitting on a 33 Chev chassis. We're not quite sure what the bonnet is off but we've actually, as you can see in the last episode, we actually transferred some body lines to make them all flow. Uh, we've done a 5 inch roof chop. Uh, we've made this tub. We've made this tub for fifty dollars. I think that came off of a tea bucket originally, and we have chopped it, widened it, and that there, that is fake patina. Oh yes, real patina, fake patina. Yeah, you would not know. So today we are going to grab these headlights I picked up at a swap meet. As you can see, they were off of a thirty-two Ford. Uh, as you can see by the the uh, mount here, so it was a um, uh, I forget what they call it. It's a low drop mount. Uh, they normally have more of a in there, um, and obviously these were in an accident. These come off a car that was a hot rod that was in an accident. So we picked them up fairly cheaply, and we are going to attempt with a capital A to dolly these up and try to get these buckets and chrome trims to marry back up again. And then we will probably look at uh, modifying these mounts. And my idea is to mount them probably off of here. So that's one of the jobs we are going to do in this episode. Uh, we do have some other things we are going to attempt. There's a little sneak peek. That's all I'm going to show you at this stage. You'll have to keep watching to find out the other thing that I'm going to do. But it should be one quite out there and two quite cool. So uh, with all that being said, let's, uh, let's get into it. Start doing some work. So we'll get the hammers out, the dollies out, and we'll take them over to the, uh, the outside bench and we'll start tap, tap, tapping.
right, here we are. So this is our first one that we're 90%. Got a little bit more to do to neaten that up, but we've got it pretty well back in some, some shape. We probably need a little bit more on this top cover around here. You can see it's a little bit oblongy there. Um, so yeah, just around sort of there. It needs a bit more work. Um, and you can see we need a little bit more work. It is on, but it needs a little bit more work through that section. But it's pretty close. Pretty close. So there's one nearly ready. Now remember, this is rat rod, and I don't mind them being banged up. I actually like it. So what I forgot, though, is I don't have the glass lenses. So I've got to quickly order them. I'm pretty sure these are 9 to 9.5 inches. So I'm pretty sure they're 32 Ford light. So there's one done. Then we've got to do this one. But we can, uh, we can mount them. We can make our mounts and mount them without the glass lenses, of course. Uh, so once we've finished our panel beading side we'll sit it up here so our choices are we have it we could mount it down sort of this sort of area or we mount it this sort of area so we could mount it off the side of this or we could mount it down there um it could even go there but you know made them one suggested in behind there but they wouldn't allow that here so yeah we could mount it in in here but we have to watch our turning circle i'm sort of leaning towards this area that's where i'm leaning uh so that is that now i'm going to show you well you've probably just seen uh yeah, what flappers white wool flappers came in um so we whacked them on and i think they look pretty they, they look cool they sort of give it a bit of a hot rod appearance so old little mate he's not happy he wants to get her inside he's had enough it's time for his din noir so we'll be quick now i just did something now this guard is not for this car so this is a guard off of our Oakland, so it is not going on this car. 100% it is not going on. But I just put it on for the look, and, well, I think I like it. I don't know, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking I'm liking it. Even with just rear guards and no fronts, I think, I don't know, I don't know. Drop your comments on what you think uh, on the on that. Like, I reckon that looks really cool in the back. Um, so let's just block the front out. That looks really cool in the back. Now, I know this car did look wicked with guards, but I cannot get the front guards to work. Um, the guards I have, uh, I've got some 32 fiberglass guards, but yeah, uh, it, it won't. It's not going to work, okay? So I don't even think I'm going to bother, but I think we'll run, we'll just do our original run, like the little baby guards that we have to, like basically leave the front open, but I'm... I'm really liking the look of that on the back. So I do have some guards. I'm not sure what they're off. They're probably not as big as these, not as swoopy. They're probably a bit more like the like in the 20s type guards, a bit more like a bicycle guard up in my lay down area. I'm gonna bring them down and I'll see what else I've got up there. I think they're the only rears I've got. There is a set of I'll have a look what's on marketplace. I know there's a set of fiberglass rears for like two or three hundred. Similar shape to this. Now, I, I don't know. I think that looks really, I think it looks really cool. I really think that looks pretty cool. It's definitely changed the look. Now it looks a little bit, I don't know. It's sort of, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I think it makes the, I think it actually suits the tub a bit like it actually works better with the tub makes it look more proportionary because it was like all right so here's my design eye right so the car's a bit like a wedge yeah remember i said that in the last video it's sort of all angled you know the cab's angled the bonnet's angled that nose cone is actually angled so the whole front's angled then it steps in and goes straight with this tiny little bed well putting them on kind of continues the angle and makes the art uh, that the back the back, the back end look a bit wider, I think, and mm, I'm really leaning towards running the guards on the rear. Drop your comments on whether you think I'm out there with that. I don't know how many I've seen that are running guards on the back and not on the front, but I'll have a look tonight and see if I can find any that anyone that's done this to get an idea of the look, but I kind of like it. And our white walls. So I really, I really would have liked them. I think they're a two inch. I really would have liked three or four inch ones, but I couldn't find any at a reasonable price. So we've got them for now. I think that's completely changed the look. The white walls as well. 
Uh, I don't know. Drop your comments on this, guys. I think this car is really coming along. It's really starting to look the part. So we are getting so close. Uh, time to go inside. And I'll see you tomorrow. We've got these closest as you see when I bought some new lenses um, so we've got the new glass now as you can see here we're still a little bit out of shape there uh, so we just need to do a bit more shaping on the top cover and that will be very close and then we need to as you can see we're all we're all bangity bangity but remember this is what I actually want I want to use these bangity bangities because they actually suit the suit it you know what I mean? So you can see there, yeah. And then, and then we've got to work out our little clip mechanism. So uh, how we're we going to do that? So we've got to work that out. I may actually just, uh, we may just make some sort of a different little latch or something up. Little, I don't know. We'll work that out. Screw or something. I don't know. So we'll work that out later. But we've got them both basically to this point. This one here this is loose and i'm pretty sure this is meant to be fixed to that so we're probably just going to put a couple of little zzz, little spot welds on to weld that on and then this light is then we've got both lights at that point okay uh then we've got to put some wires through and what have you but then yeah we'll make some sort of a little latch here screw them up whatever so that's where you undo that you take this off do your globes yeah Put it in a bank so it doesn't have to come off too often so we might just do some little uh maybe even just a little plate with a with two tech screws or we'll, we'll work something out there but there we're getting there yeah lots of tap tap tapping my uh, elbows are killing me well my left elbow is hurting because we've just had the shots done in the right one and then the left one's starting to wear off the left one's been done i don't know whew, three months ago now so Ah, the left one's starting to flare up again. Whatever. Looks like it's going to be a common thing. Getting shots put in my arm. So now what we got is we got this. And we got the other side. Ah. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop this up. So we're going to chop that off there, I think. Somewhere here. I don't know. We might even chop it on that bend, I'd say. And then we're going to mount this on there. Like that, I'm saying, thinking. Chopped off. Chopped off like there. We'll bolt that on there. Then we'll chop this off. And then this will sit out somewhere here. Is what I'm thinking. Alright, and then we'll just put a new bit of metal in between. So we'll just have it bolted and it'll go to like wherever. And so what I've worked out is I want the top of the headlight basically level with that. I want the front of the headlight basically level with that. Uh, and I want the side of the headlight basically level with that. So the headlight's there, if that makes sense. I think that's a nice spot for it. So we have to, uh, yeah, I think the way we'll do that is we will lop this off. And that could even go there, whatever. We'll work out what we want to do. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll bolt that onto there. And then we'll chop this section out. We'll get a nice new piece in between, a bit of the other bit, and uh, weld that up. We'll have our headlights mounted, so that will be tomorrow. We'll do that, I think. And then we'll basically uh, have the headlights on. So, yeah, the headlights will be 
Um, basically, there, where we're looking, but up at the front, up here. All right, so that's the headlights. I'm going in, it's getting dark, and I will see you tomorrow. Take two. Um, that's what we've done. Now uh, we've just got our 
our our bits just wired shut at the moment we'll have to make a, a better little latch arrangement because uh, they were broken but and we'll probably give these outer outer rings a little bit more of a dress up later on but there's no point doing it now they are mounted and our little mounts are there there's adjustment where they're bolted on there's where there's movement so we can tweak them around a fair bit uh, but they are pretty much where we want them uh, we'll see how they go they may be a little bit like that and if so we'll run a brace back probably onto there onto our, and we'll triangulate our little brackets there's the little bracket there so yeah we'll probably run a little we might run a little so from there down to there and triangulate it if it's a little bit bouncy uh, if we can get away with it like that I just want to leave it like that like two little antlers um, but yeah if not we will triangulate that and then maybe well I was thinking we could spider web it but everyone spider web so um, we'll see how that goes we'll wait until they'll stay like that until we test drive it so uh, they were the the old mount chopped up changed and as you see we didn't get too we weren't getting too fancy it is we're building a rat we're building it ratty I want it ratty all right so that's how I want it uh, so and we actually sprayed them with a bit of copper copper hammer tone type paint that I've got um, so yeah and we so we've made them so that they're pretty well height wise very similar to the top of the grill um, the front face is pretty much level with the front of the grill and from front on the side is pretty much to the side of the grill so what do we think I think they look pretty cool like I said if they're a little bit out there's adjustment in the brackets I've just shoved them on uh, we'll come look sideways it's a bit hard to see in the shed isn't it but we'll come in here and have a look so there's sideways view uh, there's the whole car yeah so I think they're okay I think that's pretty cool where I've put them um, and there's adjustment like this way of course we've got to get a proper bolt a nut sorry the nut on this side we need to replace that if we come back around here and I think there's I think that's pretty cool yeah that's pretty cool anyway we've saved something again save something and they actually look all right don't they they were absolutely destroyed those lights and they actually look all right drop your thoughts on what you think of those big bug eyes they are big 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 headlights nine and a half inches they are nine and a half inches across they are big headlights uh that's what we did there what else did we did our white walls and then we've done this so this is uh they are actually drink over here they're called a soda stream <clears throat> so they're little gas cylinders you put in a drink in, in a thing and you put your water bottle in and and it carbonates the water and then you pour your soft drink mix into it uh so they're called soda stream bottles so they're little gas little bottles and what we did is we painted them with the hammer tone paint it's like a hammer tone copper paint and then while it was still wet so it was very thick and wet the hammer tone paint while it was very very wet we painted the blue on blue enamel which then reacted with it as you can see if we're getting nice and close you'll see it's reacted with it and it's left this textury rusty looking appearance so that's what we've done there to get it to look like that and now we're probably going to make a little stencil or something and i'm going to do a little we'll see a little knot we might write knots on them and we'll see how we go and then we just found some copper brake line uh, a little off cut i had that i cut in half and i did that i actually just welded it with the mig the little brass so yeah to hold them in place uh we've got a dodgy little bracket on hold them there uh, there's actually a hose clamp holding the two bottles together and then over here we put us we patched up our our where our fuel filler was we put a patch in there and then we just drilled two holes and threw the copper lines into the cab so the so we got like so what it is meant to is like we've got two little baby little baby nos bottles and then now they're heading into 
to feed the motor or something. That was me little plan, just something, you know, something a bit different. And from back here, I don't know, I think it looks cool. Uh, yeah, that's us. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, so that's what we'll do next week. I think we'll be working on those guards. The guards, and I think I've decided on the motta, but you'll have to come back and see what I'm going to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>